This playthrough is rated T for teen. Donuts! Greetings and salutations, viewers. Well, we're back here with another episode of Dark Cloud. In the last episode, we continued into the Divine Beast Cave, and Zhao showed her metal while going through the tram backside of the level, as well as uh, fighting it by herself, and she barely survived, but uh, we continue on. Not getting, well, we gained a little bit from it, but not as much as I won from a back end area because it was really par hard doing it as Zhao. So, anyway, let's continue on. But before that, let's uh, grab some treasure chests while we're around. Um, we got a speed plus three here. And we get a, a fluffy donut. Mmm, donut, like I said earlier. Now, right now, I think I only have two fluffy donuts I can grab, which is one here and here. There's a few tre other treasure chests I'll grab. Um, I'm not going to grab all of them, uh, although a lot of them are tribute items you can grab. But, let's see, I think that one's bread. And, ooh, let's grab this one. The Fruit of Eden. Yeah, that's a good one right there. Um, now, the reason why I grabbed these is that we're start going to start, you know, kind of get more tougher creatures. So, we want to have the defense for it. So, what the what the fruit I just got is, is uh, it increases your max health value by 10. So, depending on who wants it more, it'd probably be suggested to give it to Toen. Because he's got to be mainly your frontline fire for the most part. Zhao mainly, you don't have to worry about her too much because she's ranged. I mean, she will get hurt every once in a while because of just magic and stuff like that, but I like to give it to the hero every time, so let's give it to him. And yeah, you see it goes up by 10, so very nice. Uh, and then the fluffy donuts, they're Toen's favorite food. Now, what we did with last episode with uh, Zhao there is her defense went up every time we ate her favorite food, so let's give that to Toen. So let's just stuff him full of donuts. Just keep eating donuts so you can't handle any more. Yeah, gets plus six because he's a frontline fire, so his defense goes up a bit more. So get one more and sixteen. So that should be good enough for the final, for the boss of the divine dungeon. So um, now you're probably wondering to yourself, why haven't I finished the gaffer's uh, thing yet? Because now I can do it at this point. Well, something changes in the mechanics of the game slightly if you do that. One is the free stuff you get from the mayor disappears because the gaffer will start selling items so he won't give us free stuff anymore so i want to eke that out as long as far as i can until uh until we can't do any more so did i ever get escape oh i guess i didn't uh, usually i block or uh, usually i skip this part because i forgot to uh um uh, max out our weapon stuff before how many times more times do i have to do that actually i might just uh redo it later or let's see oh was it just the one. Oh, okay cool all right fill up fill us up mayor and uh but yeah if you go to a lot of houses and grab stuff they'll either have food repair items or uh attributes actually i think i think the Dran mill actually has quite a few attribute stuff i can just grab um mainly the stuff i'm avoiding grabbing is repair powder and breads and stuff like that um yeah magical magical power plus one attack plus one i think some of the stuff is a bit random thunder because when i when i grabbed this treasure chest and like when i was just play testing it was a plus two um it's not something oh, i go to fire there it's not something that i'm so adamant about um wind now i'm gonna like i'd reload every time for another plus one you know and holy so they're not most of the stuff in the chest at least at this point won't be huge they won't be like topazes and stuff like that but they'll help a little bit especially if you want to up, upgrade your items uh, before we hit the last level, we do want to have at least a plus five weapon at some point. Otherwise, we're going to be in really big trouble. But let's look at our weapons right now. Um, yeah, let's go back to the Gladius. What do we have on it? So we have, okay. And Zhao. Yeah, I need to get a new weapon for Zhao so I can start um, doing something with that. But... Uh, yeah, I think we're good for now, but yeah, having all these extra attributes will give me something to level up my weapon if I don't want to use the topaz and stuff like that right now. If I got copies of certain gems, then I'll uh, then I'll do that, but until then, so let's go to uh, number 12. So, you only have four more, more, to, more to go, so probably won't get to the boss today, but, but we'll see what happens. All right, let's see what's in this chest here. Now we got the bone key. The bone key. Oh, uh, yeah, we got a statue. So, oh, right. Thirst is almost out, so I better use a tasty water. Oh. But yeah, now that I have those that high defense, now I can just take take the hits as they come. Um, let's, uh, let's see. What's, let's see if we can try to find... Ooh, we dropped something. That endurance. Nice. 
Let's see if we can find the um, water before we continue on so I don't have to waste a tasty water if I can help it. Uh, there's a rocking off right there. Alright, let's see what this is. Bench. We got a bench. It's the best bench. It's why it's why we do these things. Actually, how much tasty water do I actually have? I might just go ahead and um, just use it. Oh, okay, yeah, I've, I've already got. I'm not getting free ones anyway, so I might as well just go and do it so we can fight this guy. I was I was thinking about waiting until. Ah, well, luckily we have the defense now, so I can afford to. I can afford to take some hits now. And we do have some extra bread, so it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, this is why... Ooh, we got Dran's Bone. Um, this is why you want to prepare houses. I mean, you have to to an extent, but this is why you want to do it as soon as you can, so you can unlock, you know, uh, either, you know, extra attribute items or... Ooh, fire. Or getting their favorite food so they can actually take a few hits later on, because if you never got that, man, that would be really tough to fight the later layer spots with that higher defense. Yeah, I probably could avoid a lot of this stuff, but there are some just some stuff that's like really hard to avoid, like certain creatures or whatever. And I'm really bad about uh defending and stuff like that too, so so there's that too. Alright, let's see what's down this way. More statues and a tram card, but we don't have any tram oil in Alright, what's this? Lamp? We got a lamp! You can't. Oh, ah, I probably could have easily avoided that. I'll give you the. Th I'll give you. I'll let you out if you throw me the lamp. I'm just trying to give Zhao some, uh, you know, some uh, experience for her weapon. If the guy won't block every other second. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. There we go. Jeez. Oh, he dropped the the Dragon Crest. Nice. Oh, yeah, can't go in there, unfortunately. Oh yeah, I was I was gonna start showing you like, ooh, we get regular water. Um, that uh, that basically does a lot more than um, usual uh, usual water. Usual water <laughs> quenches the thirst a little bit. So it basically quenches. Um, uh, it's not as strong as the tasty water. It'll, I think it heals like one or two blips if I recall, but not, but still it's something. So I've, I've off screen, I've tried to look up like some of the drop tables for some of the creatures. So hopefully in the future, I'll try to be more aware of like telling you like what a creature's elements are and stuff like that. So, okay. So we got a statue right there. I mean, I think I've talked about him before, but I'm going to just go over it again. So. Okay, statue is technically stone, so obviously, you know, stone element. Uh, he drops a stone breaker if you throw an item at him. Um, he can, if you steal from him, he'll drop a stone, which is a throwable item. And if you, uh, um, he could possibly drop endurance attributes if you, uh, you know, kill him naturally. Like that could possibly drop. Other than the obviously, uh, the Dran key, but oh. Okay, Gladius is good to go, so let's look at what I want to put on it. Let's see, might put since we have a bunch of stone breakers, I might put I just put those on it so I, I'm not taking as much doing more damage to these stone guys. Um, let's see. Yeah, I might I might just do that actually. Or maybe put an endurance on there as well. Let's see, tribute. Yeah, we just got the holy right now. Yeah, it could beef up our holy a bit better, which will hurt the undead, and then put like a stone breaker on there. Let's see, I think the holy increases it by yeah three. Most of, most regular tribute stuff does that, so yeah, we'll do we'll do that. So all right, upgrade. All right, plus one. So let's put that back up and ooh. Uh, sometimes, I haven't talked about this before because I haven't sh been able to get it on screen, but every once in a while when you upgrade a weapon, sometimes their little uh, equip, uh, equipment things will have different um, modifiers in place to it. Uh, sometimes it'll be uh, positive, but I've heard once in a while with certain weapons they'll have negatives, but I haven't really come across that in a long time. But yeah, if you place an allotment slot on there, it'll double whatever its attribute is, and that 
goes for when you upgrade the weapon. So sometimes you want to save the big, like, the gems like topazes and garnets specifically for this because it'll double whatever the tributes are. And gems like this have the, the best uh, tribute modifiers. So what was the, this one again? Attack, fire, and beast and stone. So if I quit that on that, boom, it doubles it. Um, which, what was this one again? It was undead and attack as well. So both are pretty good, but yeah, definitely I'll have to consider what, it, when I upgrade the Gladius, I'll have to consider what I want to use because these are really good by themselves, but getting the double for it just makes it like, like a lot better. So consider that when you're doing that. I don't know all the variations on the weapons you can get over the course of the game, but um, that's one of the better ones, just the times two in general. Oops. <laughs> Yeah, it's getting a bit surrounded here, so... Okay, probably should go ahead and heal, or not heal, uh, repair my weapons, so let's do that. Yeah, problem with the... the... Problem with the stone dudes is they just do... they just take so much of your durability for your weapon. Oh, whoop. Yeah, I have to be careful about double attacking, just... like I said, he'll, he'll block, so... Yeah, look how much more damage I'm doing now that it, uh, when I have the holy weapons and everything like that. Unfortunately, I do have a bad habit of forgetting to swap to Zhao every time I want to give her something, you know? A uh, little, little buff. I don't know if I want that. Because eh. I said sometimes it can be the weapon. Weapon. Lower your weapon health. And I'm like, nah. Oh, come on. Probably should have switched to Zhao when I... Eh, let's see. Um, uh, that's what you do for now, and then we'll probably end up curing the poison because it can be kind of annoying. All right, where's that key? Where the? There it is. Statue. She can't. Still can't do any damage to it. Yeah. Although it would save on white weapon health, so at least she can hit these pretty well. Uh, no drops from you, unfortunately. Oh yeah, I forgot to go over with the bat. There we go, Dino Slayer. Nice. Let's heal ourselves. Uh, how's our... Actually, how many poison resists? Now yeah, let's go ahead and take care of that. I really shouldn't have got hit by the bat anyway, just because of how slow they are. And with the Zhao in the group, you should almost never have to have, have that happen. But yeah, then we get Laura's house. And what else we get? Dran's horn, huh? All right. And let's uh, take care of this guy. <laughs> One shot. Body blow. No. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll try to pause in the future for the rest of the creatures just to show, like, what they are and everything with that. So you can be prepared for it. I mean, most times in the game, it's just a case of... If you start having multiple weapons, then yeah, you can have weapons for very specific creatures. But in the early game, it's just... You just have a weapon and just hopefully you have a, a, enough buffs to go through it. But they're really... Ver dungeons aren't so bad so okay so let me go over the rock enough now that i'm actually paying attention this time so the rock enough drops the stone breaker if you throw a weapon uh or kill it with an item uh you can possibly uh, you can steal a stone from it and it uh, can possibly drop um bread if you uh um if it if you kill it i believe at least according to the thing i'm looking at so now I know some of the guys I'm looking at aren't the most in, the best ones, but uh, or because there isn't something super detailed about this game. A lot of stuff out there because some of it's still here, not here, see, um, supposed it, but uh, I'll trust there. Oh, we got a King Mimit over here, so uh, luckily it's not in the um, <laughs> yeah, luckily it's not in the tram, the back end because God, lightly that's that's dangerous when you fight one of those. And, okay, so we got. King Mimics. So King Mimics can drop the Mimic Breaker if you kill him with an item. Um, you can steal stand-in powders from them if you, when you get the ability to steal. Um, and it has the, it can drop a treasure key, which allows you to um, open up treasure chests without to figure out what what the uh, uh, what the trap is basically. So it auto bypasses that. So I'm just gonna hit you with Xiao for now until I can get. Because I haven't really been using her anyway, so <clears throat> so I'm just going to finish you off with her. It's a little annoying, but 
Anyway, ah, he didn't drop a treasure key. Unfortunately, it's not guaranteed. That's kind of one of the suckiest things about the game is that sir, you think a King Mimic with how rare they pop up, you think that would ju it'd just be guaranteed, but what can you do? All right, let's uh, go on to the next floor. Well, I mean, obviously I'm gonna go back to town and uh, and uh, restore my stuff, so. <clears throat> so I'll do that um, off screen. So let's, uh, well, I mean, I'm gonna go to the mayor's thing, but I'm gonna do that. I probably should have cut before we loaded up. So anyway, I'll be back in a second. All right, after doing that, let's uh, let's take some of our new stuff to uh, see what we can add to our uh, little town now that we've got a few things. So let's see, didn't we get a new house as well? Oh, we got another small windmill. So let's put that right here. I mean, it's not, it's not the, oh, you, it's gotta be here. I'm just putting it there because it just looks nice. So, okay. <clears throat> Let's see. So I think we can put it together. Yeah, we got windmill vein and a ladder. Boom. Good to go. Let's see. Duran's windmill. Are we done? I think. Oh, we can't complete that. Good. We actually have to complete this um, to get the key to get to the to, buy, to the level 15. So, yeah, let's go ahead and complete this now while we're here. Oh, yeah, the Dran's Blade. Um, what was that from before? Yeah, Dran's Blade. Blade made for the Dran's Windmill, so. Yeah, it uses bone for it. Crazy, huh? That's metal, dude. And Dran's Horn. Decoration of Dran's Windmill. So let's do that. Now yeah, we get an event for it. So, yeah, the event is going to be the Divine Key, but I'll show it to you. Nice. And we get some new treasure in here. Let's see what this is. We get the horn key. Yeah, that's uh, if without it, you can't go to the final floor. So you have to do that. So I don't think anything else pops up when you're here. So you have to, basically, you have to complete at least this. Um, and the town doesn't have to be completely done. You do get some rewards for doing it, but it helps if you do all the requests and everything like that. But yeah, now we can go to the final dungeon. Obviously, we're not ready to go there yet, but because we're still going through the dungeon. So. Yeah, we're gonna hold off on the gaffer's house. Uh, let's see. Uh, do we have anything to finish that? Uh, I don't think we've. Yeah, we haven't saved her yet. Uh, yeah, we haven't done the hag. Let's see. Oh yeah, we had Laura's house. Uh, let's see. I think, if I recall, I think I want it to be like. Okay, I think I have to move your house a bit further. I think. Laura's house. Yeah, I think I want it to be. I'll probably. I, I think I need to move Claude's house up like one or something like that. I think. I said this is still a work in progress, so. But we'll put it there for now. I'll probably adjust it off screen and show you what what I did before. So, all right, Laura's house. We got a fence. Got a lamp. And then we don't know who goes there or there. So let's see. Auntie with a small daughter. So. I don't think that's the. I think the. Let's see, that's all nuts, baby brother, so nothing for any of that. So, no, we don't have anyone to put there. So, that's left alone for now. So, I think that's it, really, for anything else. So, okay. Back to the dungeon it is, then. Alright, the next floor we go to. But yeah, the next couple floors are pretty just basic, nothing really crazy happens in between until the final really the final dungeon so really and probably right before we fight the final boss I'll probably do a bit of grinding off screen to try and get um, a decent weapon for the final boss mainly Xiao because she's going to be very helpful in uh, in the boss yeah, you got a carrot but it's not guaranteed uh, to get her a better drop or anything like that I wanted to at least have a plus 5 weapon that does an okay amount of damage against the boss just to help with the damage. Obviously, Toen's going to be the big damage dealer, but uh, well, whenever we get to the boss, I'll show you. So, okay, so we got the dragon here. We show, we saw that from before um, when we went through uh, Zhao's back, or uh, her, through her thing, so, but we didn't fight it as Toen, I believe, at the time. So the dragon drops the dragon slayer if you beat it with an item. If you steal from him, he, you can steal a fire gem. Uh, 
and then if you uh, um, uh, he can possibly drop a holy item if you uh, if you kill him just normally, but obviously not guaranteed. So how's my uh, how's my dragon strength? I really don't really have a weapon for that, but yeah, probably in the future I'll probably look into maybe having uh, weapons that are just specifically. Oh yeah, I forgot I had a uh, aqua marines and stuff like that. So to maybe swap a weapon out that does like. Uh, which one's better for... Eh, that one doesn't do attack. I think the Topaz is the attack one. Yeah. yeah let's just see if we can just fight a creature that... Yeah, and he can... Uh... <laughs> and I guess that's it for the Rapier. Oh, the Rapier already hit a level 1. And what do I want to do? Usually with the Rapier, I usually want to... I could make it the Dino Killing Blade. Or at least have it focus on something specific, so. Okay, well. Yeah, I definitely want endurance on it, just to. Let's see, how's it. I could. Yeah, I could. Well, no, I don't have ice. Never mind. I was thinking about maybe improving its ice attribute. It is already pretty fast. What's its build up? Do I have any clues on that yet? Yeah, its speed's fine, so I need attack, endurance, MP, ice, and thunder. I could give it thunder. Let's see, beast. Beast Breaker. Okay, so yeah, let's give it a Thunder one. Just because. Yeah, you know, let's go ahead and Beast Breaker it, so. I mean, obviously, we'll have to. We'll never. We won't. You'll never. Almost never get a build up of a weapon to their build up level on the first go. You have to transfer it over a few times before you can get that. Unless you get supremely lucky with a lot of your drops and everything with that, so. But anyway, let's swap back to that. I mean, obviously you don't have to worry about going into too much detail on that. Oh yeah, let me go over the cave bet really quick. I'm getting this all out of the way because just because we fought in basically everything we can in the whole dungeon. So, cave bet has a sky hunter. If you kill with a weapon, um, it can possibly you can possibly steal antidote drink. Dropped item is NA. Um, it, I think it can obviously drop the key and everything like that, but there's no like guarantee like oh this is clearly what it drops. So, all right, and then we got the opar. Sorry, I'm just pausing it so I can look at my notes here. Okay, the Opar drops the Sea Killer if you kill it with an item. Um, it can you can steal rotten fish from it, or you can um, it can possibly drop petite fish, which is obviously um, uh, fishing stuff. So yeah, give her. Like I said give her experience. Well, whoa, I forgot you can actually still hit me with that uh, when he dies. So all right, what's in here? Alright, windmill blades. That'll help with another uh, another windmill, so. I think we have like I think we get like one or two more windmills I've ever crawl outside of the Drand one, of course. Yeah, I think it's like three or four, but right, what's in here? We get Gina. Alright. Uh, I guess that's cool. No. Uh yeah, save another villager. Alright, let's see what's in here. Yeah, the map. On the map. Another buff. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just hold off on that. Yeah, just I, I, it's kind of funny when you just dunk yourself in a river just to just to heal yourself. Oh, well, good thing there's a heal spot like right there. So, okay. Yeah, our weapon's not taking too much endurance damage at this point. So, yeah, it's getting a little buff here. Well, until we get to the next dungeon, then immediately we'll go back to square one because that's just how it works. Well, maybe not complete square one. If you really like buffed your weapons before the next dungeon, then it won't be too bad. But usually when we go in the next dungeon, usually it's like, oh, here we go, a, a spike, and then you have to start the process all all from the very beginning. So I'm hoping in between episodes when I when we finally before we get to the final boss, I can get some good Durant, um, some tram oil, so I can go through the back end and to grind for that. So I almost want to show it off, but I I know that like grinding for stuff isn't particularly interesting to people to do but for me it's fine but watching it is not really that i guess maybe if i streamed the game but i'm not really into that type of stuff so but i got another dragon over here oh yeah i was gonna switch back to the well but the bone the bone rape here is almost out of juice so oh he dropped uh dropped a holy so nice 
Uh, oh, we got the Drand Key. Or, or Crest, I mean. That's what we need here, so we can technically leave, but it's always best to just go through the dungeon and grab, finish everything up and see if uh, maybe you could get some other drops. Less time to grind and all that. No, man. Oops. I'll kind of stop that. There we go. I hate the smart. I hate the smart enemies that block because then you know they don't take the damage. And two, they w w lower your weapon. Oh, we got the hag's house finally. So, oh, it looks like there's a dragon here. Oh, we get some premium chicken. I do like me some chicken. I don't eat as much as I used to, but uh, yeah, it just completely recovers your health. It's one of those items that's really good for like in-game stuff when your health bars have gotten pretty high and everything like that. Oh, we got a tricycle. All right, let's uh, swap to Jao for this guy. And then back to you for the dragon. The dragon! Looks like he's trying to charge me or something like that. Oops. Uh, I think I can do one more hit before I have to repair powder. Yeah. Okay. Whoops. Let's uh, heal that really quick. Yeah, one of the more annoying features of the game. I've never been a big fan of, of broken weapons in games, even if it's more realistic. Like, I was never a big fan of it in Breath of the Wild. You know, people like that game. It's a good game. It's just I really don't like the broken weapon. It really makes you want to get the Master Sword as, you, as soon as you can since it's a non-breakable weapon. But you have to do so much to get it. It's just like, ugh. I get the point of why they do it in the game, and obviously they changed it up a bit from uh, previous installments, but, you know. God, look at all that, all that, uh, um, t uh, like, weapon durability that disappeared when I was talking to that guy. Okay, let's see, what is your build-up again? Yeah, you have two different versions you can go to. Um, let's see. Yeah, one is the speed weapon, and one is, I think I might quit, might stick with the, um, uh, Increases endurance attack and and uh, MP for that. Let's see. It needs thunder as well. Beast, steel, and magic. If I do that one, or if I do this one, I only need <laughs> I need the sea slayer. Uh, oh, and it's a multi-elemental weapon. Usually those are pretty good because then you can swap them out on the fly. Usually you want to kind of build towards a specific type. There's I think there's like five different top tier weapons you can build to over the course of the game um, depending on your type of weapon you want the fast weapon stuff like that so mm. the elemental weapon is kind of the hardest one to build up to because of you know the, the drops and everything like that mm. yeah let's go with the attack one on this one so all right oh right I have the times two what do I want to put on it? see I do have that topaz I do have the one tip. What does that do again? That gives me attack, speed, uh, increases my undead. Obviously, this weapon r really doesn't take advantage of that. Um, what's the topaz again? That's the beast one. That would help with whatever I'm doing. And we are finding a bunch of stone stuff in here, which would help with that. Mm. Let's see, what was the build-up one again? Sorry, I, d I don't have all of these like ready to go like at the instance. So speed. Yeah. Fire isn't really one of its attributes that we're really working towards, but but the attack would help. Okay, so yeah, I think I might go ahead and do the um, uh, Garnet on this one. So all right, so if we got Garnet, so build up. So might put a Thunder attribute on it or something like that, or an Endurance. Um, Let's see, we only got one endurances though. Yeah, let's yeah, let's go with just endurance. Why not? Okay, let's uh, upgrade. All right, and then yeah, customize and put. Yeah, I guess we'll just put the multiple topazes on there. I'll really hurt the undead. What was this one again? This one does fish, although we haven't really been fighting a lot of stuff that does that anyway. So yeah, I'll just put multiple topazes on. Okay. Yeah, it's like five every time I hit a dragon. Mm. 
Might, oh, might switch to Zhao since I still have quite a bit of endurance for her and finish that dragon off. Yeah, I'm not doing a lot of damage, but still, her endurance goes down so slow that it's almost better just to take your time with that. Nah, I didn't drop anything. Oh well. Could have skipped it, I guess, but. I do have my dagger still. Fence. Alright, we got a fence. Are we gonna white are we gonna whitewash the fence? Like in Huckleberry Finn or whatever it's called? Something like that, anyway. But I haven't read that book in was it Huckleberry Finn or Toes of Tom Sawyer? Hmm. I don't know. It's been forever since I've read those books. I read them when I was like got in elementary school, I think. Was like seven or something like that, so it's been a hot minute. Oh yeah, do I wanna run back to the I probably should run back to the lake to grab a, grab that water, so, or grab some water. Yeah, I know I have regular water and thirsty water and stuff like that, but I'm just trying to, like I said, I'm trying to hold my resources for the boss battle, because, um, you know, need healing items, repair powders, and stuff like that. And, obviously, water for it. Okay. Grab those. Yeah, not so much for the healing, just for the thirst. I think... I'm trying to remember. I think it's pretty soon when we finally start getting the uh, the upgrades for the thirst containment, where we can get to the next level. It might be at the beginning of the next next uh, segment of the game, but we'll see. I don't remember every single section of the game where it's like, oh, I get this, I get this. I'm like, I'm not a, I'm not a neural net processor. I can't remember it all. I'm only human. Man, I wish I I wish I had a photographic memory and everything like that. That'd be awesome, but I do not. All right, let's uh, see what this is. This is a cabin in the woods. Uh oh, we don't want to deal with that. No, do it. All right, take you out, Mr. Bat. Yeah, you're down. All right, and Fishman. Actually, oh, she did I equip her? Did I actually have her with her? Um, okay, I did. I gave her the holy weapons. I probably should have equipped her the with something just. It's kind of mixed up with the Aquamarine so I could do damage to the fish guy. A little bit more damage. Nothing crazy. Did you drop anything? Nope. Okay. Alright, off we go then. Alright, how's the time looking on it? Okay. Yep, we've hit it, so. Alright. Now we got a couple more floors and did some, and got the major key for the final area, at least, so there's that, so. So I made some progress. At least it wasn't just a floor. I'll try, I'll try not to ever have an episode where it's just one floor and that's it. Unless I've made some major progress. Most, I think some of the it, near the end game dungeons are a little long, but I'll maybe try to speed through those if it gets really big, so. But, yeah, we've completed we've completed the Drance Tower. Not quite the Clock Tower, but it'll work, work for what we want. But what else can we find? Can we finally find our, our girlfriend hidden in the, in the sewers? Will the Divine Beast be our next target? Find out next time in the next episode of Dark Cloud. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.